everybody and welcome to my video today you guys we are going to make a card today and we are going to use some of this really beautiful designer paper it has all of this foil in it and when I first saw this in the catalog I actually did not think that I would like it but then when I went to on stage and saw it in person and made some projects with it I really it really pops it's really beautiful and a little bit of a change you guys may notice um, there will be now item numbers here on the bottom of the screen as much as possible uh, that is because a couple of you guys have reached out to me and it's just said it's a little bit hard to find the supply list or there's certain items that you're looking for and you're not sure how to order them so anytime that I'm doing anything with Stampin' Up! product you can always purchase Stampin' Up! product from me there is always a supply list in the YouTube description and over at my website but I will start putting in item numbers down on the bottom of the screen so you guys will know exactly what I'm using and the item number that you can use to purchase that you can jot it down and then place your order after you watch the video or just have a running list of maybe things that you're wanting to get so that is a new change I hope that will help you guys it's always my desire to help you guys out and make it easy for you guys to place orders and get the product that you are wanting to pick up so that is the designer paper I'm using. We're going to be using a couple different layers from here. And then I'm doing another birthday card and I am using this um, stamp set, which I used last week. Last Monday I used it and we used the candles. I'm just using a sentiment um, from for today's card. So there's a couple other items too that we're going to use. So let's get started and we're going to use the big shot. And here is my big shot. And if you're not familiar with this, it's a die cutting machine. I love mine. I use it all of the time and it looks like this you guys can see here. It's a big shot. You have a couple plates on here and that's how we're going to cut. Um, and I use the dies that go with it. And I probably use my big shot every single day. So we're going to do um, a quick cut here. We're going to use the scalloped circles and then we're using a little bit of pink paper and we're going to get all of our layers together so that we can make this card. This I'm using a card sketch today and every Monday on my web on my team Facebook page, I share a card sketch with my team because sometimes it's hard to come up with a card design right and sometimes you just want it to be easy and so we do a card sketch and I'm following that card sketch today and we're going to put together a birthday card so we just need one of those little circles and when I'm done with my big shot I always store my plates um, like this I usually make sure they're even they don't have to be but I usually store it like this and there's a little bit of pressure on my plates and it keeps them flat. All right, so let's zoom in. So I just have my scalloped piece here and then let's look at the other pieces that I have. So the next thing that we're going to have is a piece of Whisper White cardstock and this was at eight and a half by 11 and I cut that at four and a quarter and so my cards gonna fold this way I just took my bone folder and I gave this a really nice crease so it's nice and folded up there so we'll need that piece from the designer paper um, I cut this piece right here this is gonna be a really great layer and you can see that foiling, that silver foiling. It's really beautiful. This piece is cut at four by five and a quarter. So it's going to make this really awesome layer. And you could just use solid cardstock for this if you wanted to use garden green. You could do that as well if you didn't want to cut up that designer paper. But if you love it, you might as well cut it up and use it. So next we have these two layers right here. So this is three by four, and then this is three and a quarter by four and a quarter, okay? And so that's gonna make a really great layer as well. And you can see this is some of that designer paper, and then some of the piece scalloped circle. So now we have these two pieces together. Now I'm gonna take a piece of our that designer paper. So we have lots of designer paper on this card, which is not something that I always do, but following a card sketch makes it really easy to use these designer papers. 
So this is cut at two inches across and then it's by five and a half. So it's going to stretch all the way up. Okay. So the layers that we're going to do are going to look like this. And we can do all of these layers uh, because we haven't stamped anything yet. We don't need to stamp anything quite yet. These are just going to layer together. I like to use my grid mat. Now this piece can go right here in the middle. So the next piece that I have is this piece right here. So we have some of our foil paper right here. And look at how shiny that is. Isn't that beautiful? So what I've done is I've just taken our Stampin' Up! trimmer and right here, I'm going to zoom in so I can show you guys. Here is the line I've gone to. And I've taken a piece off. And then, I know I'm really zoomed in, you guys. I want you to be able to see this. Taking this punch, this is the... Uh, this is the punch that is in the annual catalog. The name and item number will be there on the bottom. So the way you use this, the way I use it, is you just slide your piece in. I do it from this angle. I slide it in here, and you'll notice that I don't make it come out the end here first. I push it all the way up against the edge here, and I punch it, and then I slide it over and you just line up your punched area with this. Now this won't matter because I can just trim that off. Line that up. Make sure you're pushed against the edge and then punch. And then you will get a nice even punch the entire time. So then you continue to do that. your nice edge so then what I would do is I just trim it off I'm gonna place this here and then I'm gonna trim it off so now I can place this piece right here on our card in the center and then I'm just gonna press that down you could use foam tape or dimensionals to pop this up if you wanted but now I'm going to bring over my scalloped piece and then I have this two and a quarter inch punch and we just need some whisper white card stock. That's the best to stamp on. And then I have my sentiment and then I have my garden green ink pad. Now, sometimes you might feel like it might be worth it if you just go to Walmart and you buy some white, white card stock. Um, and and not get our whisper white cardstock but what will happen is your images will not pop our whisper white cardstock is created to work with our ink and so you're going to get a crisp image every single time you stamp on our whisper white there is a coating on on our whisper white um, and you do have to let our ink dry a little bit sometimes you will get a, a moment where your ink will smudge a little bit and that's because of the way our cardstock is created and the way it works with our ink so if you're struggling getting a crisp image it's the question that i get the most how do i get a crisp image when i'm stamping the first thing i always want to make sure is that you're using whisper white cardstock i use the 80 pound that's our normal whisper white cardstock and then we have whisper white cardstock that is called thick Whisper White cardstock, and that cardstock is a hundred pound, and that is made. That's created more for your card bases, or if you're doing some coloring with our alcohol markers. The Whisper White that is our normal, the eighty pound weight, that is going to be what is best for stamping your images. I've popped up both layers. So I popped up the layer that was stamped that had the image. And then I also popped up the pink piece that we are going to now layer on here. You could layer this any which way. So here's our card. We put all of our pieces down. This could be layered like this. It could be layered over here. It just is personal preference. I actually really like it layered here. And I'll show you the first one that I did and where I layered it and the difference between using the designer paper and the cardstock. So here it's just cardstock. This is garden green. And you can see I put my silver piece right behind the designer paper strip. And then I used a stitched circle 
to do this. And so my scalloped edge peeks out only a tiny bit. So I made some changes with this next one that I did on camera for you guys. And I would love to know which one you like better. If you like the one that has the designer paper as the green background, or if you like the cardstock. I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing this. You can see photos over on my website. All the item numbers have been stuck at the bottom of this video for you guys. And then there is also a supply list at the bottom in the YouTube description and over on my website. Any of these items you can pick up directly in my online store. And as always, you guys, thank you for watching my video. I will be back tomorrow since my video was one day late today. I'll be back tomorrow on Wednesday to share with you guys another project. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will talk to you later. for hanging out with me today and watching my videos. Here are two other of my most recent videos. I would love for you guys to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will catch you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful day.